This will really help you out. So when doing an angle and you have 11 pi over 6, what I like to do is I take my unit circle, right? Because we're trying to determine the points that are on this unit circle, all right? So to do that, what I want to do is remember we just talked about halfway around the circle. If I start here, which my initial side, and I rotate halfway around the circle, that's pi radians. But we're not talking about pi radians. We want to talk about 11 pi over 6, right? Now let's think about it this, all right? You have a whole number. If I said you had 3 fourths of something, that means that's smaller than the whole, right? If I said you had 7 fourths of something, then that's larger than the whole, correct? So 11 pi over 6, that's larger because remember, pi is the same thing as 6 pi over 6, correct? Yes? So really, what I can do is I want to write this as 6 pi over 6. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this up into six parts. Actually, I could have kept that. Right? 1, 6, 2, 6, 3, 6, 4, 6, 5, 6, 6, 6. Right? When you guys first learn fractions, right, you break them up into your parts over your whole. So this is six parts over the whole of six. Well, I can do that for the bottom as well. So now, if I want to do 11 pi over 6, now obviously, hopefully, you guys should already know if, if this is 6 pi over 6, all the way over would be 12 pi over 6. But let's just count them. So it's positive, so I'm going to go in the positive direction. So 1 pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi. 5 pi, 6 pi, 7 pi, 8 pi, 9 pi, 10 pi, 11 pi over 6. Now I just need to determine what this point is. All right. So we found where the angle is. Now I need to determine the point. So I go to my unit circle. Now when memorizing the unit circle, we like to look at just the first quadrant. And we know our easy two points. Then there's three angles we need to make sure we are aware of. Okay, Three angles. First angle is 30 degrees, which is pi over 6. Second angle, which is 45 degrees, which is pi over, um, pi over 4. Third angle, which is 60 degrees, which equals pi over 3. Okay, So you have to know those are our three basic angles. That, those are going to be the angles that are going to make, make um, all of our angles. And we're going to have our angles on the unit circle are all going to be multiples of 30, 45, or 60. And then obviously this one, last one, which is 90 degrees, which is the same thing as pi halves. So now for each one of these three points, though, if you remember from, the, from using special right triangles, we had coordinates. So let's go in and see how we can remember what these coordinates are. Okay, Each coordinate has an x and a y, and they're all fractions. All fractions have a denominator of 2. Right? Hopefully everybody can remember that. Now, the little trick is square root of 1, square root of 2, square root of 3. Square root of 1, square root of 2, square root of 3. Now we know square root of 1 is just 1. OK? So that's the, four, that's the first quadrant. But ladies and gentlemen, we're not we don't have a point in the first quadrant. We have a point in the fourth quadrant. But what you guys need to notice is, these two, are these the exact same points, just reflections of each other? Yes. And how are they reflected? They're reflected over the x-axis. So if I was to take this exact point and reflect it over the x-axis, what would be negative? The x or the y coordinate? The y coordinate. So my point is the square root of 3 over 2 comma negative 1 half. Done. That's the point. So at point at 11 pi over 6, is square root of 3 over 2, comma, negative 1 half. OK? And that is it. Yes?